Looks like Kid Bacon isn't gonna make it. Oh yeah, that's that's actually quite unfortunate. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back with Roblox Titanic. And in today's video, we are going to be checking out some new features that were added to the game. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, we are on board the Titanic, now we are on Titanic 2.0, and as you can see, the iceberg has struck the ship, and it is slowly drifting away there, or we are sailing away from it. And uh, this update is actually something pretty neat, something that I've been waiting for... A long time to be added into Roblox Titanic and that is the lowering system or, or a part of the lowering system in Roblox Titanic now that is the ropes now this update actually has added um, movable davits so the davits actually swing out along with ropes that stay in place and uh, yeah it's something that we saw in Titanic Legacy a long time ago before it was shut down and uh, I'm glad to see that it's being implemented here. And I do need to give a shout out to our newest developer on VVG. I'll have his name up right here. Uh, thank you because he was the one who developed this feature. Anyway, it looks like we've got uh, Kid Bacon here. Hello, Kid Bacon. Um, anyways, we're just going to be walking around the ship, taking our time with everything just like we were in um, Titanic 1.9. And uh, we're just going to experience the sinking as we usually do and we're also going to check out the uh, new features so we are on scotland road here and uh, let's go ahead and go down to the uh, lower decks here now i won't be using realistic lighting for this video because i know youtube does darken the uh, video once it is rendered out and then once it's uploaded to youtube uh, so yeah i'm just going to keep it in the normal lighting so you guys can see everything so, as you can see, water has completely flooded the boiler room at this stage, and uh, we are doomed. So we are in the third class area here, and if we head up one more deck, we will be on the, uh, basically the well deck here, the forward well deck. And uh, Titanic looks pretty fine, besides the D-deck door being open for some inconspicuous reason. Let's go ahead and go shut that real quick. All right, here is the D-deck door. Let's go ahead and shut that because we don't want any water spilling in just yet. I should mention while I'm down here, I am not a developer for Roblox Titanic. I only create the trailers and some of the sound design. So I've been getting some comments saying add furniture in the reception room or add the reception room or um, add the dining room. I cannot do anything about that. That is something for Amazeman, Inyo, and Mr. Titanic. And uh, they have said that they are not going to be working on the reception room until everything is optimized. And by that point, 3.0 might be out. So yeah. Anyways, we are heading back up onto the deck here. And um, here we are. The boat deck. Looks like the uh, steam is being released from the funnels. And there's something quite strange happening here. The steam sound is going in and out. So that's... A little weird. All right, as you can see, Titanic is uh, getting a little low in the water here. We've already lost the G deck and F deck portholes, so a little bit of concern there. Let's head into the officers' quarters. Let's head on to the bridge, and it looks like we've got a group of people over here, as per usual on this game. We've got some role players, and we've uh, we've got this collapsible boat just kind of swinging in and out here. But the ship is going down, as you can see. We are sinking in the 1997 um, edition, or version, of the uh, sinking theory, and the 1997 theory. There's a lot of names for it, but it's uh, basically the movie version. And uh, that'll be pretty interesting, because we did experience that in the uh, uh, 1.9 version when we last played Roblox Titanic. Now, I've also been getting some comments saying, uh, how did you get to the 1.9 version of the... Uh, of Roblox Titanic and I will show you right now. All right, so here we are in the lobby now. If we go over this way, I'm just gonna quickly run there. You'll see right over here we've got uh, 2009 to 2015, the original Roblox Titanic, and then we have uh, Survive the Titanic 2015 to 2018. So if you click one of these, it'll pretty much instantly teleport you to that. So that's how I got to the older version of Roblox Titanic. 
So yeah, I, I didn't really create the game or I didn't have to recreate anything. It's just right here. So if anyone's looking for that, it's right here. Anyways, we are back on Titanic. And as you can see, it is getting lower and lower into the water as we speak. And I bet if I go down onto the, uh, the E-deck area, we should start to see some water flooding in soon. Yep, there's water, and there's a lot of water here. You can see Scotland Road is not having a good time. The lights are flickering, and the power is dying down here. So, let's get out of here. The ship is creaking, and it is getting a bit spooky now. So, let's go up here. And, uh, if anyone was wondering, this is how you get to the mast. So, there you go. Those are not very nice noises to hear on board a ship, especially a large one like Titanic. And wow, we've already lost the E-Deck portholes forward. So, um, I think we should be getting up on deck now. And it looks like we can start launching these boats. So let me go ahead and click this. And as you can see, the davit system is in place where it actually swings out just like on Britannic. And we will start lowering this lifeboat into the water here. So there we go. So, oh, looks like these guys already got it going. And, uh, oh, never mind. I will just, uh, pop over here. And as you can see, the boat is lowering into the water. Anyways, we are lowering this boat into the water, and you will see that the ropes will actually stay in place once it gets launched. And that is really neat. An interesting thing to note here, the actual lowering of the ropes in Roblox Titanic is much slower than the lowering of ropes in Roblox Britannic. And the reason that is, is I believe, since Britannic is sinking faster, you need to get the boats off faster. And if the boat's lowered at this speed, then... That would be pretty difficult. And plus, um, the motor launches, um, they are kind of, uh, pretty much, they're not manually operated like, uh, the davits here, but, um, it, it's pretty much a, uh, a generator and a winch that's doing it, so that's probably why it goes faster. So here we go, we launch the boat, and as you can see, the ropes stay in place. You can see it there. Anyways, let's go ahead and pop down onto the promenade deck. And uh, let's go back into the Grand Staircase. Here we are in the Grand Staircase. A far cry from the uh, 2015 to 2018 version of Roblox Titanic. Meshes just bring a whole new level of realism to Roblox. And as you can see, the water is slowly filling up below decks. And there are flares being launched and guns being fired. So let's go ahead and go down to D-Deck, and I believe that's where the water is flooding currently. Not completely, just a little bit here. We just got water lapping on the floor. It's a little more water than just lapping at this point. And just for realism, I'm gonna open that door. There we go. Excellent. Now we are somewhat closer to historically accurate. So the water is just flooding the reception room here. The poor carpet is being destroyed. And, um, this is the last we will see of the reception room before it slips under the waves. And you can see this is really neat. You can see from the inside of the ship all the way to the outside of the ship. The water stays the same. It just gets a little darker. But it's just perfectly flat all the way across to the outside of the ship. So, uh, I think it's, uh, it's our time to leave here. So, let's go. B deck and A deck and it looks like someone is attempting to launch this lifeboat but it has failed miserably let's go ahead and see if they need some help all right let's see what's going on over here it looks like crew member Jake has got himself into a pretty dangerous situation here this lifeboat seems to be stuck oh, we almost got it here almost very close there we go perfect all right, let's go ahead and head over to the other side of the ship, see how the lifeboat operation is going down. Oh, yeah, looks like no one has attempted to launch any lifeboats. I might as well just swing them out because uh, we need to at least get a few people off the ship. So there we go. And I'm really liking the animated davits. Another touch of realism added to the game. It's really nice. And there is another lifeboat being swung out. And it looks like since someone has sat in the seat, it has just screwed up the entire lifeboat operation. Oh gosh, actually it seems like these lifeboats here are just screwed up in general. Alright, I'm guessing that we're just going to have to wait for the water to 
flood onto the deck to float these off. All right, status update on the ship. It's not looking good. The forward well deck is under the water, and we are going down quick. And part of the propeller is out of the water. Actually, the propellers, because all three are now somewhat out of the water. As you can see, the well deck is flooding, and you can see those really cool effects added by Amaze Man. And uh, these were added way before the uh, the animated davits and uh, ropes that stay in place update. But um, yeah, there we go. So the bow is uh, pretty much gone now. Let's go ahead and uh, swing out some boats aft here. At least get them swung out. I mean, that's pretty much all we can do because I'm not going to attempt to lower them. One thing that I do miss with the Titanic 2.0 version is the interiors. And I've already discussed this, but this is all about performance. But it was really nice to just walk around and experience the inside of the ship from many different areas that aren't just like the open spaces and popular areas like the boiler room, the grand staircase, like being in uh, in the lower decks in areas that you wouldn't really walk around in. To see that flooding was really interesting, especially with the 1.9 version. Well, it's not looking good over here. We got Kid Bacon again, and uh, the, water, the water is flooding up fast. If I were the captain, this is a sight that I probably would not want to see. Um, especially the list of the ship and uh, the water pouring onto the bridge. All right, yeah, this is our cue to uh, to leave the front of the ship because it is slowly being consumed by the water here. And actually, I think I'll be able to release this boat. There we go, and it is just phased through the deck. And you can see that the ropes are uh, glitching out. Now, what's interesting about these ropes is that wherever you launch the boat, the ropes will just cut there. And uh, you can see the perfect example would be right there. And, uh, yeah. So that's really neat. And you've got more of the ropes uh, hanging there. Let's go into the grand staircase here. Just uh, one last look as the water floods up. There's uh, water down the hallway here, but there's no water really here yet. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is it. This is where uh, the grand staircase goes under. The lights are flickering in here. So let's make our way out. So we're going to make our way aft here. Wow, okay, the water has uh, significantly flooded the forward part of the promenade. And uh, if we look out here, yep, Titanic is not having a good time. Looks like one of the boats I swung out has just kind of stuck itself halfway on the deck and halfway over the side of the ship. But it looks like this one has successfully launched. Well, not launched, but swung out. Looks like we got someone already launching it. And uh, there goes the forward funnel collapsing into the water. We are going to continue to make our way aft here as the ship climbs higher and higher under the water. The stern of the ship climbs higher and higher out of the water. One thing I am going to do is actually swing these boats out. There's really no purpose to it, but uh, I might as well do it. Because uh, I know that you can still launch them if you're fast enough. Looks like the dome has just caved in on itself. A significant amount of air is escaping through uh, parts of the ship. Yep, there we go. We're back at the uh, grand staircase, and there's nothing much. Uh, there's nothing much left of it anymore. It's, uh, it's pretty much completely gone at this point. Looks like someone has just died. Looks like we got a few boats clustered together over here. I think it's time to just make our way aft. Let's go ahead and take the uh, second class staircase all the way down so we can get onto the uh, the stern. So let's go ahead and head down here. It's quite frightening being in here, just uh, just as the ship continues to tilt, because this staircase is now pretty much level. And uh, here we are. You can see the horizon out there. Oh boy, I don't even think I'm going to be able to get up this staircase. Oh, that, that might be a problem. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And we are now at the stern of the ship. Now if we zoom out, you can see the second funnel is collapsing. And the power has died. The emergency lights have gone on, but um, it's still very dark. Now with realistic lighting on, if I had realistic lighting on, uh, you would not be able to see a thing. Oh, and we all know what comes after the, uh, the lights going out, so we might as well get as far aft as possible for this, because the ship is about to break in half, and there we go. The crack has formed on the side of the ship, and I have just fallen into the water. Oh, God. Oh, I better move. I better move. Oh, this is bad. 
This is really bad. And I am dying. Alright, back on board the ship. The ship has snapped in half. Which I'm not surprised about. And, um... Yeah. Sorry about falling in the water there. That's what happens when you uh, don't have the, uh, the swim tool and you're not focusing on where you're walking. Um, yeah. I should also mention that that jump would have been fatal. So let's go ahead and get back onto the stern here. And I have uh, fallen. And I don't even know what that was. Uh, let's continue to move aft here. Looks like we're getting a bit of server lag. Which is unfortunate. But, uh, let's just hold here and, uh, hope that we survive. I'm just gonna hop over the railing here and attempt to survive the plunge into the ocean. Looks like Kid Bacon isn't gonna make it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's actually quite unfortunate. Another cool thing that was added were the, uh, particle effects that you see there. And, uh, that is representing the bubbles that are kind of forming from the, uh, the air pockets inside of the bow of the ship and from the stern as well. As, uh, as they implode. So we are going down quickly here. And uh, hopefully I can hop into a lifeboat. Because I don't really want to die here. So here we go. This is it. And into the water. Let's hope the suction doesn't get us here. There we go. Let's hop into this lifeboat. I think I call that a success. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you all next time guys. Goodbye!